Okay, guys, so this is the symbol that I'm going to do 10 boards, a lot of time, and uh, let's see how it goes. So, here, C4, nine, six, E4, every possible board. Always a good number. E4, C5. Yeah, I gotta. You gotta master this Sicilian business, so this is not so much about. Uh, this is not so much about scoring a lot, but it's more about learning something. The French. Okay, G3. So, uh, yeah, let's go for, let's go for Jokopian. Okay. Two D five. I'm not here yet. Queen D four. Yes. This is possible. Uh, let me go A six just to keep some pieces on the board. Maybe I should play Queen D four as well. Hey. Why not? Okay. This one is nine D four. Okay. What up? Nine. Okay. Bishop B5 check. Bishop D7 this time. Gotta be solid against Mr. Doji. It's very dangerous. Okay. Nice C3. My door. Bishop B4, let's try, uh, let's try this, Bishop B3. Sometimes it works. Six, Bishop B2. Okay, let's see what's happening. Bishop E2, this is correct. B6, Bishop, yes, and now I play Queen e3. Uh -huh. A3 against neither. Wrong. Aha. Uh -huh. And now we have a uh, dragon. Dragon bishop b3. I will play queen d2 lines. Something I know. Neither. C5. E b. Okay, B6, drop my enough play. Wait, did I play him like this yesterday? So now I have to improve. After Bishop B7, I'll play Knight BD2. Yes, Knight D4. Queen A4, check. Bishop B7. Okay, Queen E3. And. Mm-hmm. Let me play something 
strange bishop g4. So knight is knight f6. Knight f6, I should play knight c3. Knight f5, yes, d5. This is all theory. Now I play f3. Bishop g5, I play e6. And if I play uh, bishop d2, rook e1, I play e6. Very good move. So now, knight bd2 is a better version. Queen c4, c5. Yes, Julia from Brazil knows her theory. Castle two, f four. Let's try queen c seven this time. Bishop c three, bishop c three, c three, bishop e seven. Knight c three by Mister Crypto or Mrs. Crypto. What is this a5? This is not good. Okay, so castle. I play this. a6 by Jack Trent, a fan of Mr. Trent, probably. Wait, wasn't knight d5 to move here? I think it was. There is a sacrifice. Do I want to give my material? What if I play b3 like, like a good boy? Play b3. Bishop f6, gf. Nc6, castle. Queen f3. Okay, I play d7. Ah, this guy knows his theory. Very bad. Don't like playing against people who know their theory. So what should I do here? Should I just play bishop b7? Yeah. Let's not. Let's not make it hard than it is. F, D5, and now I'm going to play ED, a solid, solid way. Castle, should we do something stupid? Yeah, let's do something stupid. It's never wrong. It's never late. Knight D2. Okay. Ninety two is a bit strange. Let me take D three, let's say castle. Should be four and I see three. Queen F four. Holy cow. I know. Knight B1, yes. And now, uh, yeah, Knight B1 that I'm supposed to take and play Queen D5, I think. Knight D2, Bishop. Bishop to H6. Knight d5 takes and bishop d4. My rook b8 is working like a charm. Mm -hmm. Queen g2, queen f3. Promote. I promote. Now that I promote.
Now this is the final curtain. Okay, E5, yes, Bishop C5. I used to play this dragon myself as well. It's not so bad. Looks much worse than it is in reality. And Gary played it in a world championship match, so it cannot be that bad. Okay, now, do we do something solid or something stupid? Something solid. It's a symbol after all. G6. Now I play bishop b2, then I have a castle, king b1. Bishop b6, yes. Now I should bring my bishop to b3, I think. This is how it's done. Bishop d3, b5. Why not? Knight f1 by Mr. Dodgers. Dodge. Okay, Mr. Dodge. What do I do here? Queen b6 or queen c7? Queen c7, queen c2. Just have to be safe against Mr. Dodge. Just exchange the queens and Hope, hope that his spare will like. Oh, death, where, where is thy thorn? Okay, this is good. Nothing is yet blundered. I'm safe. Knight d2, bishop h6, immediately. Can't allow bishop c4 or, him to, or her to get something on uh, the squares. So rook e8, very good. Now what do I do, h4 here immediately or knight e4 first? Or king b1 or bishop b3? Too many options. One game. She's very fast, I don't like that. I'm gonna play h4. Rook e1, my god, knight d5 is coming. I am scared. I am terrified. What did I do to deserve this? Okay. I have to attack this d4 knight somehow. With queen b6? Queen b6, bishop f1, yeah. Yes, I need to create the square on c7 for my king. And now I'll put bishop b7 next. And then this b4 stuff works, if I remember correctly, which I don't think I do. Okay, queen b3 by Mr. Doji. Okay, concentrate. Why don't I play queen b6? Just for the sake of being solid. Wow, some of these guys are thinking for so long. If I play b5, knight b5, knight b6, queen b3. No. I have to start confusing my one somehow. Yeah. Maybe knight d5, knight d5, d4. Yeah, let's go. Let's go a6. Okay, here I have a lot of time, so I shouldn't rush. This game can wait. This game can wait. Rook d1 here. Uh, let's play. Uh, what do I do? Queen c7. Yeah. Very solid. Okay, castle and king b1. Here I have a lot of time. Here I have a lot of time. Queen c7. All right. Now I should go knight e4 and queen to f2. Queen e3. Who could have thought? Why 
why can't I enter with my rook? Let's go. Okay, this game, what happens after knight c4? He goes d6, knight c6, that, 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 no. Uh, why not bishop b3? Yeah, let's do something like this. Okay, bishop d2 happened. Mm -hmm. Now what happens if I... What happens if I play queen b6? Provoke. Queen f6, this is all very good news. This, I cannot, cannot be more happy about it. Okay, rook d8. Queen should go to f2. Correct? Or should I play bishop b3? Are there any horsey jumps? Six, queen d3. Now, what happens when I go rook f8, knight d3, rook c7? Totally fine and safe and, and wonderfully, wonderfully ready. Happy to know. G6, yes. This I know. Happy to know all about you. When I am with you, happy to know what to do. Happy to know this. Is 95 confusing? It's a good confusing move. Suddenly I'm bright and breezy because of those wonderful and your things. I'm learning about you day by day. If I was allowed to speak during the games, I would have been a world champion by now. I love it. What can I do? Everybody's thinking. Such a such beautiful scene. Okay, where am I down on time? This game. Okay, somebody played, someone played. Rook B1. I made you passive. This is good. Okay, now I can simply develop. Haven't you know? <clears throat> D6. This is all very suspicious. There has to be a good way to play. Knight G5, F4, and this should be good. Sunny and bright and breezy because of all those wonderful and new things I'm learning about you day by day. Knight a6, all right. F4, F5. Yes, I have to finish this game because I have a big advantage. Wait, wait, what's coming? When b6 is coming, then I can squeeze with rook d2. Just take some squeezing. Staying humble. Once the knight is gone from g4, then. Um, my good structure, bishop on b2 is very good in the Sicilian business. My good structure should give it dividends. Knight c4. Okay, what do we do now? If I go knight d7, she goes queen h5, and then I can play b5. Correct? Correct. 
Yeah, let's do this. Okay, what? H6 happened. Okay. Uh -huh. So F5 is coming. I don't want to allow F5. I promise I don't. Definitely not for free. Therefore, I have to come up with a plan. Preferably a cunning plan. If I play H5, she goes F5. Takes, takes, no, that's nothing. And if I go G4, F5, takes, takes, knight, G3. E4, I can take. Yeah, G4. Let's go G4. Knight D7. Knight C4. Something. Bishop D2. Someone. Being alive, staying alive. What if I play queen a6 takes takes and then d5 next move? The knight is retreated. Is this proper? It should be. It should be a proper way to play. Yes. Very classy. Oh my god, queen f6. I'm under a siege. Not like that. If I play knight f3, bishop c5, do I want bishop c5? Mm, and then play c3. Or c3 immediately. No. Knight 2. Oh, wait. Knight 2 f3, bishop b4, check. c3, knight d4. Knight d4, queen d4. And then queen d2. Yes. Brilliant. Then I get two bishops. Okay. Rook d1 here. I just play safe, humble, and quiet. Bishop g4. I should play uh, queen d3 and then f5 and then trap the bishop. Trap the bishop. Queen b6, yes, I expected this stuff. Now, h3, knight f2, knight d5 gives me nothing at all, so I am forced. Queen a5, rook d5, queen b6. So queen h5 happened, as I expected. Now, b5. Looks like a good move. I like it. So I shall play it. Okay, g4 here. f5. Okay. Now, if I go uh, b4, fe, fe, no, that's too much. That's too dangerous. I go e5, knight d5. Uh, and queen e5, what's the big deal? Then I capture on a2. Yes. Gotta be a man. Gotta play like a man. Gotta take the pawn. Oh my, oh my god, my queen is getting trapped there. I see three. No. No, no, no. A man, but not a mad man. So, okay, knight d5. Knight d5, knight d5, knight. What if I take knight d5? E d. And then bishop e7. Bishop e7, king is 7, f6, knight f6, knight f5, not a big deal. And knight c6 is not a big deal as well. But there is this queen g3 business. King f5. Okay, I will squeeze. Squeeze and hold. Hold. I will hold the position. Okay, what's going on in here? What is this b6? Isn't it a bit too much? Isn't it a bit disrespectful? Maybe not. 
to my bishops, they should wreak ha havoc here, shouldn't they? What if I play a4, knight c5, bishop e2, and I try to play a5, yes, a4, annoying move, queen a6, b8, bishop c5 happened. Now, what do we do here? Bishop e2 is a bit cowardly and e4 is hanging. So c3 is another cowardly move, but nothing is hanging, yeah. Oh my God, e4, this I didn't expect. Although e4 is one of the say, typical ideas, I will just retreat. King to g8, king is on g8. E5, queen, g6 doesn't bring me glory, but h3, g4, yes. This is the way to do it. And then I start pushing. Okay, knight h4 here. Can I take on e4 with my bishop? Then she goes, he goes or she goes g5, bishop c2, gf, bishop f6. Do I want to complicate the matters? No, I don't. I just want to, just want to make people silky smooth. It's gotta be safe. Okay, knight f5 is a threat to improve white's, white structure. So in order to contract knight f5, I need to play bishop f8. So let me play rook b8. <sighs> okay, this is good. This is all this is all wonderful. Bishop h6. How dare you? How dare you threaten my rook? I wanted to sacrifice my rook actually, but now I I've changed my mind. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> what if I play rook e2? Yeah, I know, I know. It's not a move I wanted to play, but gotta be humble at times. Knight d6 check, yes. This is normal. Now if I take with my queen, or should I play king e7? No, knight f7 there, why do I want to do that? Okay, take with the queen and then play e4. Will I sustain the center? Will I sustain? I don't know what I want to do it. Because it looks kind of cool to have this type of center. Yeah. Rook d7. Now. I really want to play g5, but I don't know if it's a good move. I really want to. Therefore, it's a good move. If I really want to. Yeah, let's play f5, g5. But I also want to play bishop a3 or queen f2. Let's play g5. Okay, knight e6. Where is this knight going? Hmm. This knight is actually annoying. Okay. Think of something. Has to be something intelligent and deep. Okay, if I allow I allow knight of eight. I don't really have intelligent moves. Let's do something stupid. Yeah. E5. All right. Now, this was my plan to play bishop to e3 and still threaten a5. Yes. So, Mr. Doji played e5. Now, if I take and play knight e4. 
I should have plan A for immediately. But then Bishop before, then he pins me. I don't like being pinned. Therefore, I will take. Okay, what's going on in here? Bishop d3. Now, queen a5 with idea of b5 and starting to roll seems to be in order. Yes. Bishop d7 here and g4. Queen a5. This is slightly peculiar. Well, logical, yeah. My rook on e2. I'm not a fan of the rook on e2. And I don't know why I did it. What if I play queen d1 here? Something subtle. It's too subtle. It's slightly stupid. Yeah, let's play h3 and then knight d5. Just play safe. Okay. This one, bishop e2, okay. Uh, if I threaten the c2 pawn, will this be good for me? It should be good for me. But how do I do it in a precise manner? I can also play d3, some type of... Uh, Okay, so if I go rook c8, I will force the queen to retreat. I kind of like that, queen retreating. Okay, h5, yes, very logical. Okay, here I'm down on time. This one, I have to speed up somehow. Queen f2, rook d2, rook d1, bishop a3, yeah, let's, let's just do some like basic moves and gain some time. Knight c5, bishop e2. This was part of the grand plan. Le grand plan. g6. f5, ef, gf, ef. Yes, very good. This should be close. Knight d5, and what did I want? Did I want knight d5? Yeah, I want something comfortable. I'm a bit annoyed with this rook, so I want to bring the rook back. Bring the rook back. And then I can take with the knight on a1. Oh, this looks wonderful. And then f4. There are some chippos in the air. Too much for just one move. Knight d5, yes. This I expected, sir. This type of intrusion. What if I take on d5, take on e6, play knight f6, bishop f6, gf, queen f6, queen c7. Let's do this. It's dangerous. Oh my god, he, fe, queen h5, g6, fg. Then I'm getting mated, so it doesn't work. What if I take on d5 and play knight f6 at the once? Yes. Splendid idea. And then king d7. Oh, this is, this is wonderful, if it works. 97. So what do you think about a5, my dear friend? What do you have prepared against this? So Mr. Doji played knight f1. He accepted his fate. He confessed of his sins of weakening his positions. Now I'm going to slowly win this game. Slowly, but surely. Watch me do that. So what is this? B5, A3 is trying to play. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, just A6. 
GFEF94 is coming with multiple threads. G5. Actually, it's not that bad. It does make sense. Okay. So if we're getting attacked on the side, our answer generally should be in the center. But how? And where? Knight h7 is a bit, uh, is a bit too nihilistic for me. I want something jovial. Knight h5 is jovial, but then queen h4 is following. Knight d7, h4. How do I get to this knight two on g3? Ninety-eight, and in order to bail out at some point, some point with d5. That's a bit too sad. Okay, ninety-seven should be the move, and then some ninety. 95, but then wait. <sighs> 98 is passive, 97. Okay, let's do something. Okay, queen e1. Now, if I take with the knight, then I have a rook on e2, which is okay. What a good boy. Rook d8, yes. Here I need some solidness. Some solidness is required. My knight f6 here is wonderful. Knight d5, okay. Now a, b, knight e3. Yes, f take e. I have some b4 coming and I will get something somewhere. I will get b4, yeah. Great success. Now rook c2. Yes. So after rook b1, I can even answer with yeah, bishop b4, and I'm capturing the e5. Okay, so b5 here. Oh, Sergei Rachmaninov is rather slow. But this b5, isn't it a bit too suspicious? Can't I punish it somehow? Can I? Oh, and then I'm threatening some e5. Yeah, let's just like this. So a3 followed, yes, I did. Now what should I do? Should I play h6? Yes. When you don't know what to do, play h6. This is the rule of Soviet chess school. Okay, this one I'm going to win. I mean, I'm going to win all of them, but slowly. Without the rush. Okay, rook c2, bishop h5. She's trying to mate me, but I'm not a fugitive kind. I will fight till the end. I have to take the c2 on. Knight e3, f take e. Okay, what's going on? What's going on here? Uh, I'm just registered. h3, h6, h3, yes. Very common way. I want to live like common people. I want to do whatever common people do. There's a great song of that. Okay, queen a6, queen b7, and then a5. Well, let's just kind of pretend we're we're just shuffling pieces, and then at the right moment play b4. Yes, very good. Cunning plan. Okay, queen g3, bishop of four is coming? No, b5, I have to play, b5 is a must. What? 
What happened? Somebody resigned? Wow, I won a game. So I can close this window. Less windows to take care of. Aha, Route 2. Let's get in the head of Mr. Doji. Rook b2, he thinks he's clever. He wants to play knight c4. How little does he know that I can simply take on c4 and play bishop f8? No, actually, I don't like it. Knight c4, little does he know that I can actually play rook b7. Knight d6 takes. And this a6 pawn is pretty good. Everything that is extra is good. Yes, I will take this pawn. I will be greedy. Okay, Mr. Rachmaninoff, you played knight e7, e5, queen h6, bishop c1, queen h5, g4. Queen d4, rook g1, knight d4, white resigns. No, this I don't have that in mind. This is not what I want to happen in this game. Therefore, but I want to play e5 somehow. So how do I combine these two desires of mine? Playing e5 and not resigning. Hmm. E5, queen h6. Bishop e4, no, bishop c1, queen h5. Am I gaining anything from this exposure? What if I play bishop c1 here? Knight d4, cd, bishop d4, e5, bishop f3, white resigns. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Nine g six is coming. That's the problem, guys. Nine g six wasn't coming. Wouldn't have a problem on our hands. What if I make a long castle and then nine g six g three? Just a humble pie, and then king b one. Yes. Why do I have to win this game at once? Just play slow. Okay, rook a one. Now I play queen b seven. See, slowly slowly improving, massaging the weaknesses. Now, knight b6 and knight e5. This is very Sicilian-like, and knight to c4. Okay, so bishop e6 followed very well. Now, like a brilliant, Player, I should play g3 just to show that I want to develop my bishop before the action starts. Rook c1, my god. Did I blunder anything? What if I take and play king e7? Yeah, then I play rook f8. Stable, stabilize. Or I can even take and play d3. No, I don't want to play d3. I take and play king e7. Oops. I even promoted it. Oh my god, I'm losing my time in this one. Okay, concentrate. Rook d1. Change everything and win. That's what's required. A6 happened. Yes, now I can play b4. Forcing knight b7 because otherwise I will take a piece. So dodgy played knight b3, which is looking dodgy actually. So I can play knight b6, knight will come to b5, and I will prevail. Okay, now I've got to check the games where I have little time and make sure make sure I don't get less time. Okay, this game I should concentrate. Remember, this is the sixth, sixth game. Partina, partida numero 6. Okay. 
excited going to win all of the games. Okay, what's going on? Who dared to play? Knight f4. My god. Why didn't you take on f8 instead, sir? Okay, just bishop e7. Sufficient to prove an advantage. Knight b7, as I thought. Now. Now it's time to play a good move. If I play bishop f3, yes, very annoying. Knight a5 is a threat. Wonderful. Knight to d4. This is not going anywhere. I can play h6 or I can play g6. Anyway, I like it. Knight a5 is not going anywhere. Because I can play rook c3 and then bishop c5. Yeah, let's play g6 or h6. g6, h6. Or h5. Let's go h5. So rook b8. Now, I can, in principle, take on a6. And I will do it. It's a free pawn. Okay, castle happened. King b1. Always remove your king from c1 whenever you can. Now, I play a5, a4, b4. And I play knight b6, attacking this soft and nice pawn. Yes, a5. <laughs> Rook one. This is all good. This is h3, my Mr. Doji. Very good. Now I can play Rook to c3. I don't know why. Wait, I have to watch out for this position. Yes. Don't lose on time. Not in any circumstances, don't lose on time. Okay, so bishop g7. Now, what we can do? We can play knight c7, take on e6, play f4. No, no f4. h4. Or we can. Okay, 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 okay. What do I do now? Yeah, this looks like a logical continuation. Just take on e6 and play h4 and try to bring the bishop to h3 and annoy my opponent. Annoy the hell out of my opponent, yes. Now, rook c1. Concentrate, 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 and find the best move. He's trying to enter with his rook. If I take on c1, yeah, I should take on c1, and now play. Ah. Maybe play h4 in order to have this bishop on f4. Ah, that's very cunning. It's a very cunning idea. I like it. Or I can even take on a2 first. What's the rush? Take on a2, rook c7, knight c knight d5, rook a7, h4. Yes. Okay, check on the Check on the time trouble. Yes. Bishop d5. What is the idea of this? 
What do I make of it? Okay, it's basically a waiting move. I also have to make some waiting moves, I guess. So if I go bishop to a3, this should be a proper waiting move. But then knight e6 will come. Should I play knight c3 simply? Let's play knight c3. Takes, takes. Knight to h5. Now I can take and play some queen f2. Hmm. I can also play rook g8, which is kind of in the spirit of the position. I'm basically saying, make a move. Like it. No, stupid. I can also play queen c5 at once. Confusing move. Hmm? Takes king f8. I take him just now. It's very risky, very, very risky. But I shall do it. Okay, bishop e6 followed here. Now I can take on b7 and play bishop rook to a7, and then rook will join from g4. I am very ecstatic about this. Okay, rook c7, knight d5. And I just six g three, queen a two, definitely b four, f four. Where is this f four going? What if I play d five? E d ninety five ninety five or e d and then threatening d four. It's interesting. Let's do it. Yes, takes, then I play h4. Queen g7. Now, if I play rook d8 here, bishop h5 and knight e5, are there any tactics coming my way? I don't think so. Let's go. Knight e6, what, what happened? Knight e6? Uh -huh. This is sufficiently cunning. I'll play bishop b3. Just not to get in a mess. Don't want any mess. No mess for me tonight. Thank you. Now. Mr. Doji, h4 is going to be very annoying for you. Yes. Queen e7, no, h4, come on, let's create a mess. He's down on time, it's going to be very annoying for him. Now, do I take cb or do I take ab? ab. Okay, d5, created the mess here, very good. Uh, yes, 10 minutes, queen c5, more mess. Uh -huh. Bishop d3 followed, all right. What about bishop d5 here? Is it a bit too much? Or queen d5, knight g7, king d. No, queen d5, uh, knight f6, gf, and bishop f6, queen f3, and if knight g7, king d7. I like it. Castle, and now rook g4. So, doesn't do anything. Bishop b6 is there. Why did I get so excited over it? <sighs> I don't know. That was awkward. 
So, nevertheless, rook g4, bishop e6, rook g2. Yeah. And then rook f7. No, I don't want that. Don't want to let him off the hook. Somebody is getting off the hook. Damn it. What did I do? What was I thinking? Who dropped that? Let's play king d2 and king c1 and yeah, bring the rook. Because I need my king f4. Now I play, uh, now I can play g6. Because he wants to play f5. So I stop you. I stop. I stop you. And I slowly take it. Okay, what's going on? 92 here. How do we proceed? Has to be some tactical way here. It's clear. 95 is not good. Takes takes knight h4. Rook a8 is kind of uh, tame. Okay, it can be one ninety four. Also, same problem, or even ninety one. Yeah, yeah. So this wasn't that great for me. So just slowly improve, I guess. Maybe some queen b five, just to keep some uh, pressure. Ninety five, I shall take and play bishop c two, then f four. Yes, e b. It be for tactical reasons. Happy to know you. Bishop h3. Okay. Bishop h5, 95. Everything is going according to plan. Okay, oh, except this game. So this game is not going according to plan. This game is going. Going somewhere I didn't intend it to go. Oh, I can just take on d4. Take on d5, take. No, take on d4, takes. Take on d5 and play f4, f5. F6, f7, f8, f9. Sounds good. Okay, so take on d4. Gotta simplify some things. Okay, now king. D7 is my intention. I don't know why on D7, but Rook D8 check. Now what I wanted to do was King C1, Rook D7, Bishop A6, or King C1. Oh my God, King C1, Rook D6. Being fooled. This is. This is rather ridiculous. Oh, king c3 and rook a1 and rook a8 comes to salvage. Knight c6 by Mr. Doji. F4 is hanging. Things are looking bad for him. And he knows it. Therefore, I should just simply Simply retreat. F5. Okay. Let's just understand what happens after F4. Knight G4, Rook E1. Looks good. F4. Knight to D8. Now I want to bring the knight to F4. But is it a bit too much? Because knight gets to f3. But then knight on f4 is so beautiful. I'm too tempted. And the only way to fight the temptation is to accept it. f4, remove. Just I'm going to take with the rook. I think so. Yes, f4. 
f4, f5, f6. Then I take on d5. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Oh my God. What's happening? What is this rookie five business? Gives me a heart attack. Blundered. I knew there was something wrong with my play. Okay, let me take and play rook b rook seven, queen a six, and rook b eight. I know, not ideal, but yeah, let's go. Let's go. Bishop b5. Now, rook to a1. Knight to d8. Now, Mr. Doji, what if I play rook to b2? What are you going to do? My dear friend. Rook b2 and bishop to b4, yeah? Just simple. Simple and humble. Okay, I gotta come back to this time travel game. Knight to f7, yes. Now, what I have at my disposal, I can either take on f5 and sacrifice the exchange, which is not ideal because I'm up on time, I wanna flag my opponent. So I'll just play solid. Rook d7. Uh -huh, this was the idea. Now I can play rook a5. Very efficient. Okay, what's going on? Bishop f1 came here, and now. Uh, Let me just fool around once again, somehow. How do we fool around here? Fooling around without the purpose. Has to be a song like this, fooling around without a purpose. I haven't invented it yet. 95, yes, a good fooling around move. Knight d5, e b, bishop d5, no tactics. Yes, full around. Queen, queen to b6. Knight g4 came. Okay, what happens if I play knight f4? Bishop b2, king b2. And I have this f3 available. Another thing I can do, just take on g4 and play knight e 3 And voila. Extra pawn. I will go for the pony. Wait, but then takes on b2, knight c6, knight g4, knight d4. It's a little blockade on f3, rook d2, knight d3, rook b3. Um, how do I remove the blockade? I don't know. I don't know yet. Another thing I can do, I can take and play h5. That's even more efficient. Because after g5, there is the same blockade, but at least knight on g4 is very good there. Totally protect. Yes, take and play g5. Is the right way to go. Oh my god, check. So rook is seven. If now I play f5, comes bishop to e5. Why didn't I think of this? Then it becomes very solid. Okay, what if I play king b1? And I'll slowly shuffle around, but then rook e4 comes. I don't want that. So I should play f5 and then play king b1. Okay, rook b7, and now Mr. Doji. 
I have a question. What do you think about Bishop B4? How are you going to answer it? <laughs> F take E, Bishop B4. Bishop B4, Queen E4. King H1. Okay, what do we do here? This is a very important moment. Now, if I go d4, knight e4, becomes unclear. And if I go queen c5, then there is b4. If I go knight d4, king to f2, bishop c5, b4. And I lose some material, I guess. I don't want to lose material. If I go d4, knight a4, and something like knight a5, then I get b3 as an answer. C8, bishop d3. No, that's not clear at all. And if I go d4, knight e4, bishop f8, and I try to bring the knight to f5, this looks more like what I want. I can't do it all in one go. Probablemente not. Probably not. And if I go queen c5, b4, yeah. Okay, I gotta go d4. It's tough. So bishop d2 here. Am I messing around? Not really achieving anything because our opponent is extremely solid. What happens if I take on d3? Knight d4, queen takes e4. God, it's too beautiful to be true, this chippo. Almost, almost tearing up thinking about the chippo. And the chippo that is available, d bishop d5. So I got disconnected, not very good, but I'm still here. Oh, wait, how is the game currently stopped? Uh, okay, should I press something? Okay. Oh, yeah. Connection breaks. Happens. I'm waiting to be reconnected.
Oh yeah. Okay, so some games are still uh, getting reconnected. I unfortunately lost my connection, but the positions are looking promising. Okay, so knight d6, I should play queen d3, knight f3, I guess. Or queen d3, rook e2, no, kind of. Uh, I want to keep this d7 pawn passive. Okay, so here I go queen d3. This is the chipo that I have in mind, and it should work. Otherwise, I'll be very surprised, which I normally am when I blunder things. Uh, so here I have h5 in mind, rook e1, all right, what do we do here, just queen d5, and then our queen c6, both moves look great, I guess queen c6, and bishop e5, king b1, head in mind, Yeah, bishop f4, rook d3, bishop e3. So all games are back online, guys. So here I go rook g. I try rook g8. It works. Should work. Okay, and this game is already technically won for me. So knight a5 by Mr. Doji. I will just exchange the rooks in order not to calculate any lines. That's normally a good way. Rook f7, knight f3, bishop f2 doesn't work. So rook f7, knight d3, uh, f5. This is very tricky, but I, I've seen through it. I know what's coming. I will not allow it. Although, looks kind of gotten unclear, gotten out of hand. Somebody resigned? Ah, now I'm happy. I have less games to play. More chances not to screw things up completely. So bishop f4, queen d5, I think is the move. The way it seems to me. Now I just bring my king to c5 and then rook a5, and it's finished. b4, I can answer with c4. I don't have to calculate here. But knight g5, knight g5 wins something. It wins some material. Yeah. You gotta pick the material. Ed bishop f5. Now knight uh, f4, queen f1. This game is dangerous. Somehow it's gotten out of hand. <laughs> take with the f pawn? I guess I should take with the f pawn. I don't really want to, but because I want to have this knight on f5. And if I take with the queen bishop d3, the knight on f5 is wobbly. Okay, bishop d2, king d2. Oh my god, f4? I just blundered this? Oh, that's why I need my queen on Oh, this is nightmare. Oh my god. That's why I need my queen on d5. Now I start understanding. This is very bad for me. Yeah, I lost the concentration for a second. Now things are... Things are looking terrible. Sure, now about this. Okay, now I gotta. 
faced the difficult task of trying to survive. Because he f queen f7, and then queen f6. Oh my god. Why did I do it? So if I exchange the queens, then I'll be safe. Yeah, I just want to be safe. I blundered too many things. So bishop f4. Now I can play rook d3 or rook e2. I'll play rook d3. Oh, I want input. So knight e1 came, and now I can play queen e4 or queen takes e2, depending on what I want. Queen d2. Yeah, let's play queen e4 and then take queen e2. Uh, I'm upset about my blunder in that game. It's very annoying blunder. Now I have bishop g5. This is essential. Okay, this is hopeless. So rook a5 is coming. Now I can take rook 94, rook e2. <sighs> okay, so bishop b3. What should I play? Queen g2, I guess. Or queen f3, allowing queen h2, but then I have this all the squares. Yeah, queen f3. C4. This can't be too good for white, the C4 business. Yeah, knight f5. It's logical. And d4, rook d2, and the three, rook d3. Rook e1 here happened. Now, what do we do here? Just some solidifying move I needed. Rook c8, f6, rook e8. F, f4, rook. Rook somewhere. King d7, rook a5, yeah. Or king d5, as a matter of fact. Yeah, this is easier. Queen f4, bishop d6, knight d6, rook d6, bishop f3. No, this is not what I want. And if I play rook e8, it's very annoying. And then I get to uh, play queen b7. Yeah, there are some pins. You get three rook b3. So bishop e4. All right. So what do we do here? Rook. Rook to g8. F3, now queen e2. So bishop f3. I can take the pawn now. Is there any trickiness happening? I don't think so. Because bishop d6 will be a, an extremely annoying move. King c8, king c6. Knight <laughs> f6 takes. Desperation. 
looks like desperation. King H7 or anything. My net is protecting everything. Okay, bishop a2. So king d2, I can play uh, rook to g1. e3, check. King to c3. This looks kind of logical. And now if I take Bishop d5, yeah? Maybe rook d1. Then bishop d3. Yeah, those checks were not necessary. Not necessarily good ideas. But let me take this. Bishop d5. I'm going to play rook g2 and then rook e2. So, okay, gf, win f6, solid, solid and good. So rook c5 happened here. Now I can play, uh, so knight d5 is the plan generally for black, as I understand it. Uh, if I play rook d1, knight d5 takes, takes. No, I don't want that. I want something solid, solid, solid. So rookie three, 95, 95. Yeah, rookie three is solid. Okay, so this is the blunder game. Extremely annoying blunder, but now I can take knight c5 and I have some contraplay. I mean, it's not all, it's not all, not all so terrible because the knight can be very jump, jump full. Junctious. The knight is very junctious in any games, so she will have to watch out. The champion's knight. The champion of the knights. I don't say that. So if I take take and play c3, the bishop is kind of trapped. I like it. I like it. After my blunders, I'm finally getting my good mood back. Because I get some cheapos, you know? It's not, I don't really need much in life. Just some cheapos and that's it. Just some cheapos. Okay, F6, I have this King E6 in mind. Is it still available? Looks like it. Okay, Rook B8, my friend. This is, not going to work for you, I'm sorry. Okay, bishop three, ah. The old same story that I'm down on time, people are trying to flag me. Okay, good on you. Try to flag me, I don't mind. You're not going to succeed. Okay, 95, thought about this, now I take Play f3, d5. I can even play g4. No, I don't want to play g4. But I definitely should take rook e5. And then, okay, f3 is a must. After d5, I can start thinking. Maybe king c3 type of what's necessary. Or something like rook h2, you know? Yes. Rook f5. Correct. Somebody resigned. Brings joy. When I think of it, okay, queen h3 is too much. Queen h1. No, queen h3, why not? Then I have this queen e6 
So root on f5 is trapped. Okay, so takes. Okay, one less game. Okay, this is the flagging business here. Okay, I will not let you flag me. So huff and I will puff. Okay, this is what is this? Queen g4. 93 or anything. d5 now let's consider my options if i go rook d1 of course i have zillion of options and rook d1 oh i have rook e1 available takes rook e4 rook e4 rook e4 rook f3 uh, rookie six, rookie three, rookie seven. But that's a bit too technical. But after rookie three, uh, rookie six, no, that's king f7. No, no, that's too complicated. Okay. Another move I have. Okay, let's check this one. Oh, I took, I take. What's going on here? Okay, I have time. Uh, F4, say nice C5. Kind of like Rook E1, but Rook D1. Okay, check the time business. It's the only important thing. The moment so rook h5, everything else fine. Somebody else resigned. That sound, that wonderful sound. Okay, so five games are there. Okay, bishop b2. All right, so what do I do here? If I go d3 and then knight d4, so d3 bishop. Wait, I can play knight a4, d3, knight b2, king f2, d3. Oh, but then knight gets trapped. King e3 takes, king takes. But then my king enters. King d6, king d2, king c2. A bit slow there. If I go a5, a a4, then just king c2. It's very exciting. Okay, let's check the other game. Okay. What else do I have? Knight a4, b3, knight b2. That's kind of interesting because I can. So king to e3 takes this king d6, king to king d5, king c2. Knight c4, bc, king c4, g4. No, doesn't work. Okay. This one I can play king d6. Give this check. Okay, king g2, c3, b5. And what if I play rook d3? Kind of annoying. Okay, but I gotta give it a try. And what if I play b3, knight c5, b4? I cannot get this pawns, yeah? 
Ay, caramba. It's a very interesting end game. It's really exciting. Okay, what happens if I take ED? Okay, so B3, concentrate on this one. B3, knight B2, king F2. D3, king E3, takes king E2. B3, I should answer with knight c5, I guess. B4 and something like, I don't know. Okay, so a5 came here. So if I take this pawn, I should just take, okay, rook e3. Rook e3. Can answer with king d7. And what if I play f5? It should be 7. Rook e5, no. And if I play rook c4 check, then I take on a2 there. Now well, let's try. Okay, so king f2. Oh, I got lucky. Takes. Bishop f4 here. Okay, so rook c3 and bishop c2. Check. Takes on a2. Okay, now I have rook e5, which looks like a very strong one. Okay, so king to e1, now I can place d3 and knight to c4. And then a3 is hanging. Now bishop to c2, g6 pawn is falling. D2, I pick. Take rook c8. Yeah, king f7, I'm going to answer with g4. Now I'm threatening rook f5. After that, no, no, I'm actually not. But I'm threatening h6, rook g7, g5. Or should I stop being fancy? Just take. Let me just try this because I want to. But then it might not work. Okay, gotta concentrate. If I take on d5, rook g3, and then I play c4. No, I don't want it. Let's play c4. The king e1. Now I can play. Uh, now I can play. A5, no, then, no. Okay, let's play something. I don't want to lose some time in a promising position. Let's take this g6, hangy, b6, 
bishop e3, rook c3, a4. Fold a4 is not possible because of b4. Bishop b3, knight a5, bishop. Okay, you gotta be careful. Why don't I bring my king closer? Then g4, yeah? b4. Okay, so b4, bishop b3, knight a5, bishop a2. Yeah, this doesn't work. And if I play knight e3 here, a, b, a, b, then it will be a draw. Okay, let's play king e6. So rook b8. Um, bishop c2. It's kind of safe. B4, no, uh, king to f6 is not a good move. And d5 and king to d6, looks okay. Just two, a, b, a, b, b6, what about h6, king f2, takes, and bishop c5. G4. And if I play B4, what if I play Knight D3, King D2, yeah? You can go to the end game. Let's play B4, Bishop D3. Oh, anyway, don't have much time. So Rook B4. Now I can play Queen D3. Checking d6. Okay, I want this game. Here I can give a check, play five. Okay, g5. If I play knight e3 here, g6, takes, takes, king to e7. Yeah, let's try. Oh, but then bishop b3. This was terrible. Then I have to make a draw. Yeah, this is a draw. Now, I can play. Okay, I have a lot of time here. Can simply contemplate. I play rook b1. Can I take one before? Yeah, rook b1 is a good one. Creating some soft, soft position. All right. Now, rook to b6. What can I do? I can play rook b3. Can be annoying. Another move I can do is rook c5. Another move I can do is rook f1. I like rook f1. Just to be annoying. Check. King is 7 I have in mind. Oh my god, I almost lost on time. Should be 3. Take. This is a draw, of course. But I'm trying to lose on time, so. Okay, so rook e6. Rook e1 ideas are there. I can play, uh, I can create a loft. Let's play a4. Let's create some air.
in D2. Check. <clears throat> yeah, just King F8 should be sufficient. Rook F7. That is very cunning. What if I play Rook F7? And King E7, Rook to G8. Rook to e4, no, rook c5. Yeah, so this is a troll. Unfortunately for me. Oh, yeah. To accept it. One blunder too many. Set up a little, let's say, a a trick, which is not even a trick. King e three, and that's it. Just a draw. Okay, so rook king e seven and rook g eight. Now I can start collecting the pawns. So, yeah, it was fun.
check I shall take. Clicking A2. So now this is supposed to be easy. Yeah, I guess rook c6 is the easiest. So 24. Queen g6 and queen h5. As simple as that. Just take it. Yeah, this was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you all for playing. And yeah, let's do this sometime again.